Hi and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Um, in this um, series of uh, tutorials, we're gonna actually we're gonna look at all of my sea trout flies. Um, in this box now, it's it's empty. <laughs> There's no flies there. So my plan is actually to go through all of my flies. Uh, we're gonna do it as I always do, and uh, yeah. So. Uh, the first fly is actually a very simple fly and, and very effective. It's called F all, and it's tied with the copper wire. And I have actually have uh, another uh, fly tied in the similar similar way. Uh, as you can see, this uh, the copper wire, and I have one here that's uh, tied with the mono thread and some uh, mirage tinsel. So yeah, and as always, you can follow my Instagram account here. And check out my sponsor, Nordisk Fiskutstyr. You can check them out on Instagram here. So, yeah. And cheers, of course. Some good black coffee. <laughs> and let's start with a simple fly, okay? Yeah. So, for this fly, I'm going to use a TMCO 811S in a size 8, okay? Small, very sharp hook. I'm going to use some copper wire. This is copper wire from Semperfly. This is a 0.2 millimeter in a light gold. So, uh, if 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 you find it hard to start off the thread, just you know, plain like that, like this, you can if you want. You can put the thread in the hook eye, like that. Put just put it in there, and leave the tag there and hold it and take two turns. Flip it over and just go like that. Just pull it in, push it in, and tighten up. But after a practice, practice a little bit. This this works great. You just have to force it. So two, three. I'm gonna take about four turns, four to five turns perhaps, and pull it a little bit. And we're gonna tie in the hackle. One more, like that. Yeah, that's nice. Because now we're gonna tie in the hackle. This is a grizzly hackle. And this is the shiny part of the hackle. Take it against uh, towards yourself <laughs> and just pull out the fibers under here, like that. But make sure to leave about uh, eight mils, about that much, because we're gonna have two turns in the front. And then I'm gonna flip the hackle over so we have the shiny part down. And now it's quite important, don't pull it too hard, because if you pull it hard, this has the tendency to break off. So just take a couple of turns, quite loose, and then you can tighten up. This has happened to me so many times, the hackle break off, so yeah. And then we just take touching turns all the way down to the bend of the hook, cross the thread, one, two, three, four, five. And then take a hold of your hackle. I'm just gonna use my fingers. And just pray that it doesn't, yeah, it didn't break. So two turns and then you're just gonna palm it back. Leaving a couple of millimeters. I'm using my finger to pinch, pinch the hackle. It helps me out, you know, about five, six turns. And then you're going to rib up with the copper wire again. And again, I'm going to do uh, about two millimeter gap forwards, palm rate forwards. And stop there, pull everything back, one turn tight to the hackle, get my V finish. And this fly is soon finished. About two turns, one, two, ah, three. Pull it and snip it off with my bad scissors. The scissors. <laughs> this is this is scissor is dedicated for copper wire. I think you've seen this one before, okay? So pull up that one and take your fingers and just roll it like that. You want the fibers to go back. There you go. That's the F all in copper. Very, very simple. Of course you can varnish over here if you want, but I haven't done that. This fly works great. So yeah. So let me show you another fly. Here's an here's the same fly, but I've tied it with the um, I tied it with the um, mono thread, and as you can see, this is pearl mirage tinsel, 
and it shows through the, in the body. So when you fish it, it kind of lights up. It's very cool. Looks like a small missus. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, same hook. Tiemco 811S in a size 8. Some mono thread. So I'm going to start up in the front. The same. I'm going to pull it a little bit. So it's about 5-6 turns in the front. I'm going to put in the hackle. And I'm going to do the same thing. Pull out the lower part of the fibers. Leaving about 8 millimeters. Flip it over. And again, very careful. Just a few turns. Make sure it's up. Just a few turns. Don't pull too hard. <laughs> and then we're going to snip off this one. I'm going to tie in some Mirage tinsel. This is from Vivus. Uh, this is the large one. It's important that it's large because uh, I, I will show you. So tie in this one at the top. I'm going to go touching turns. Touching turns, touching turns. All the way back. Same point because now the since this is a large one this is actually this will actually fall down on each side of the hook and get the glimpse on both sides of the of the hook yeah so snip off at an angle like that just a small tag stop there and I'm gonna do the same and I'm hoping it won't break oh beautiful two turns in the front I'm gonna rib it or palmer, palmer it <laughs> using my finger to pinch the hackle Go all the way back pinch 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 rib up and of course I haven't super glued this fly so you know I could do that but this should be a fast fly a working fly finish off with a few we finish in the front one two three four five clock rock like that pull it snip it off pull that one and the F all is done as you can see you have this mirage tinsel here this this is a trigger for for the sea trout and when you put this one in water the the, the mirage tinsel will, will show through there yeah it's a very cool fly so yep so there we go that's the F all flies Okay guys, that's it. That's the first fly, a very simple fly, but absolute fly you can have in your box and it works great. So yeah, you can follow my Instagram on this link and of course my sponsors, Nordisk Fiskutstyr. Uh, you can get all the materials there. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description and of course um, the material list of everything I use. So yeah, um, cheers, cup of coffee. And I'm, I'm looking forward to this every fly. I'm going to do Vaskebjörn, Hoover Shrimp, Pine Squirrel, Kuttlingen, and some other cool colors I've been using these days. So, yeah. Okay, cheers. I'll see you next time, okay? Okay.